Hello and welcome to Shuttle Flash. Today I want to share some exciting changes in the rules of international badminton matches which has been brought forward by BWF and which we will see when badminton resumes again. Badminton World Federation has made some small changes to the existing technical regulations in February of 2020. I think not many people know about the changes as they were not reported in the mainstream news media. There are numerous small changes to the rules, but there are a few which stands out from the rest. Number 1. It is now the duty of the umpire to inform the players if a line judge changes his or her initial call. Players will be allowed Hawkeye review if they wish to. This is one of the best changes BWF has brought in the February update. The new rule states, where an instant review system Hawkeye is in operation, if a line judge changes their initial call or the umpire overrules a line judge's call, the umpire shall make the players aware and permit a challenge made immediately thereafter. We have seen countless number of times where a player is not allowed to Hawkeye challenge a line call after a line judge changes his or her initial call. A recent example of this is the quarterfinal, but the more interesting thing is that the update to this rule was effective from 19th of February 2020 and the All England Badminton Championships took place in March, so whatever happened to CUG must not have happened in the first place. Coincidentally, this was the same umpire from Belgium who faced a lot of backlash from Indonesian netizens for calling service faults on Praveen Jordan in the final of the All England Championships. Number 2. Players are allowed one call spray during a match now. According to the new update, players will be allowed to call the tournament doctor for the application of pain relief sprays only once during a match except during mid-game intervals. If a player requests for any additional call spray from the tournament doctor outside of the intervals, then the umpire can now dismiss the request by saying, you can have spray from the doctor only once in a match. During the famous match between Lin Dan and Lee Chong Wei in the 2013 World Championships, the tournament doctor came onto court twice during the third game to apply call spray to Lee Chong Wei. The cold spray was applied on Lee Chong Wei's leg when the score was at 16-19 and then again when the score was 20-17 before finally retiring. Now with the new rules, Lee Chong Wei will not be allowed to get the pain relief spray a second time. If we go back to the final of the All England Championships in 2012, we can see again Lee Chong Wei getting pain relief sprays two times from the doctor once here and again here but this case is still legal because the second time Lee Chong Wei got the spray was actually during the mid game interval i hope this example explains the new rule clearly to you bwf is basically introducing this new rule so that there is no unnecessary delay to the game number three Players can now wear same colored shirts but different color shorts. Opposing players can now wear shirts of the same color during a match provided that they wear different colored shorts. Previously, the rule was not clear enough and it just stated that it is mandatory for the opposing players to wear significantly different colors from each other. So the players were not allowed to wear same colored t-shirts, now they can. Some of you might know that Victor Axelsen was fined 250 US dollars for wearing a white outfit during the final of the All England 2020 because his opponent and number one seed Cho Tin Chen was already wearing the same white outfit. This is still illegal and Victor Axelsen will still be fined if it happens again. Well that's it for today guys, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you for watching, stay at home, be safe, see you in the next video.